Hello everyone welcome to Foster Recap. This is our first video hope you guys bless our channel. The movie starts with a young boy catches a grasshopper in a rice field. Then we are introduced Detective Park Du Man who came to investigate the dead body found in irrigation canal besides the field. Then it's revealed the date as October 23, 1986. Park found a woman body naked and hands tied and feeded by insects. Later Detective Park investigates some suspects and take their photos. The next day Park finds out a another woman body murdered in a similar pattern to first victim. This time there got the killer footprint as a evidence. But unfortunately it got ruined by a passing by tractor. Later in a police station Park and inspector discuss about why Park always stares at suspect's eyes. Then Park claims that he can say if person is felon guilty or not by staring at his eyes. After some time Park is in his house with his wife. There they having some casual talk. Then Park wife say there is a boy in a butcher shop named Kwang Ho and he always follow Hyang Suk the first victim girl. Then we came across the mentally decible boy called Kwang Ho playing in a video game store. Then Park arrived there and take Kwang Ho to investigate and behaves rudely with him. In an investigation Park ask him to confess the crime by talking with him but Kwang Ho denies it. Then there arrives Park's brother Park Hyun there he kicked Kwang brutally up on his arrival he accuse him that his awful face make him anger and even wears a socks to his shoes in an attempt to not causing scratches to Kwang. Afterwards Park stop his brother and ask Kwang to pledge his innocence by looking into his eyes. To find out whether he is feeling guilty or not. Then in early morning we are introduced to another detective called Seo Taeyun. He finds difficulty to reach the police office then he came across a woman. He attempt to seek her help. But she was scared thought Seo is a killer and begins to run but ended up by falling besides the part way. Then Seo go down and try to help that lady but she refuses and rush to leave from there. Then Detective Park arrived there in a bit of confusion Detective Park thought SEO was a rapist trying to spoil that lady. Then he rages towards SEO with a flying kick and beating him. After by knowing each other they're headed to office. Inside the car they're both are insulting each other. Then SEO feels some old shoes awfully smelling. Then Park replies and say there are evidence. Park stop his car besides Paddy Field. There Park create a fake footprint as a evidence with Kwang Ho shoes and take a picture of it. After arrived at the office SEO is introduced to Chief Inspector and Inspector welcomes him and he introduced to Park's brother. Later Park and his brother and accuse Kwang Ho watching TV show in a lunch break. After lunch there continue with investigation while SEO watching. Then there take Kwang Ho to woods and start digging in an attempt to scare Kwang but he keep on saying he is innocent. After Park asked Kwang that he loves her she rejected so he killed her. Then Kwang start recall saying she was strangled to her dead and undress her then he try to put her clothes but don't know how to do so he leave from there. Meantime Park recording all of this and ask him did he killed her. Then Kwang Againg didn't reply him then Park brother begin to beat him in anger. Detective SEO decides to take case seriously and study the case throughout the night. Early morning Detective Park invite press and inform them their got killer. And their re-enactment the crime spot. Meanwhile Detective SEO examines the Kwong's hand and noticed his hands was very weak and he even can't hold chopsticks with his hand. Later in field Detective SEO inform Inspector Kwong is innocent and all their arrange is waste of time. Their Kwong father showed up and informed media that his son is in falls accuse and his son don't kill anyone. Then we are introduced to Sergeant Shin Dong. Later Detective Park brief Sergeant about serial killings. They travel to first victim crime spot then Sergeant ask them there any calm man point in case Park denies it but SEO informed they're all are killed in rainy night and they're all wore a red dress before killing and he also say they're actually three mutters that surprise him. Then Sergeant and some police men search for third body after long search their finally found body. Their all meets at Kwang Ho Father Restaurants their Detective Park and Park brother apologize to Kwang and gifts him new pair of sneakers. Then there have some good time together. 
Next day it started raining but this time Detective SEO is arranged a trap to catch killer. He make Officer Quan Kui Kao wear a red dress and make her to walk in near woods in his supervision. Long hours pass but there is no trace of killer so they're taking shelter in a dug house. Their Officer Quan Kui notice someone is coming. Their two schoolgirls are passing by Officer Quan invite both girls to stay. Both girls are so drenched by rain both girls thanks them and ask them who are there. Then Quan Kui say there are police. Then two girls are whispers each other ears. Then Quan ask them what are you discussing then there say there is a woman near their school she always cry and says that monster hides in bushes and attack on women. SEO say it's all false and warns them don't spread false news. Parallel to this a woman got a phone call from factory to visit. She is going in a rain using the help of umbrella. She is singing to overcome fear then she hear a whistle sound. She immediately rushes to escape. But unfortunately the killer came out of bushes like a monster mentioned earlier and ended up by killing her. Next day Detective SEO received phone call from murder site then he visits it. Later during postmortem doctor confirms it is done by killer. Later an office sergeant and detective are discussing about the leads they point out each other's mistakes and blaming each other. Officer Quan play a song and says this song is played during the every night of murder occurred then detective SEO rush to radio station there he finds no clue. Meanwhile detective Park and his brother are at crime spot their thought killer revisit crime spot after crime. Then there hear a sound there quickly hides behind the bushes. There arrived Directive SEO full disappointed and smoking he to hear someone coming he also hide. There a man arrived and placed some women under garments and start jerking. Park brother slow moving to ambush but the man notice and start running. Here comes movies interesting chasing scene 3 detective started chasing the man. He go to village to hide but their 3 detective don't stop chasing at some point it seems like he escaped from them but Park brother brilliantly spot him. Then three detective goes to a mining quarry there all workers wear a similar dresses. It became difficult to identify the man. Then Park identify the man who wears a women panties. Park identify him and Park brother give him the flying kick. The man revealed name is Jo Byung Soon in investigation. His wife is sick and their house is so small so he came to woods to satisfy himself. Next day some local church members came to near police station to protests and demand to release Joe Byung. In investigation Park and Park brother asked Joe Byung about his desire. Although Joe Byung seems like a innocent he is sociopath he desires to be like the killer and fantasies about it. Then Park asked Joe Byung to mimic killer and act like him. He do as say Park recording all in a attempt of closing case and declare Joe Byung as killer. Joe acted as a killer and say how he will kill all women. Then Detective SEO recall same story said by school girl in Doug House earlier. So he visited school and meet the girl. She and Detective discussing about the lady. Then the girl get pain near waist. Detective SEO ask about it she replied she got hurt during the drill. Then SEO and girl went to school first aid room there Detective SEO help her to cover her wounds there both become friends. Later SEO go to the house school girl said about. There are women see detective SEO and get scared and hide in house. By understand her fear detective SEO called officer Quan Kui she concern her and express condolence. She feels relief and say about her. Long story short on September killer catch her and tied her and take her clothes off then a man arrived there so he leave her and went. Then detective SEO ask her is she saw killer face. She didn't see her face but his hands are soft like women. Detective SEO and officers Quan Kui are going back to station. Their park make Joe Byung hang upside down he is ready to surrender as killer by force. Then SEO arrive and check Joe Byung hands and realized he is not killer. Then park get frustrated and attack SEO the both fighting each other. Meantime office Quan Kui attempt to say something but they continue their fight. By seeing them sergeant also get frustrated and he to join the fight. Then officer Quan Kui shout loudly grabbed their attention and informed them the killer song is playing in radio. SEO quickly checked through window it's raining outside. Then Quan Kui went to radio station to get the information. 
Sergeant informed their higher officer to declare state emergency and their need help. But higher officer don't mind it and they say they have bigger issue to solve. All officers remained hopelessly. Next day they found another dead body. In post-mortem they found it is done by killer. Park and SEO are so disappointed and their Park torn all his accused book papers and decide to follow Detective SEO. An officer came and informed their got the address of person who requested song on radio. Their Park and SEO visit his house no one there so they seek in and search the house they found a portable radio and some pictures of him then one lady came and informed them he will work in factory in this time. Detectives went to factory. Then we are introduced to Park Hyungyu. They take him to investigation there he told he came town on September and he is the one who asked DJ to telecast the song. CO try to make him confess but he denies it that make Park brother anger and give him a obviously a flying kick. Sergeant fired Park brother from job for his anger. Later Park and SEO are discussing about evidence that prove Park Hyungyu as killer but unfortunately there is no evidence. Then they go through some old records they hear Kwang Ho say exactly how women die then they confirm that Kwang Ho didn't kill but saw killer while killing. They went to Kwang father restaurant too but Kwang not there. In same restaurant Park brother kicking someone's ass then a fight happen in the same time Kwang Ho came and involved in a fight with stick accidentally he hit Park brother. That stick is with sharp rusted nail it poke into his leg. Kwang Ho run away in attempt of escape from him. Park and SEO followed Kwang Ho. He climb an electric pole there Park make him come down. Then he show him Park Hyun Gyu photo and ask him is he killer. Meanwhile Park brother came there then Kwang run away from there. Later SEO stopping Prak brother then Park went after Kwang. He stands on a railway track park warn him to move but he insists ended up by train hitting him and he died. The only witness of the murder died. Park is in shock for Kwong's dead. Later doctor call them and inform them they got semen in victim body. They can extract DNA from that but unfortunately that technology is not available in Korea so they have to send samples to USA and wait for results. When they are returning from hospital their car give them trouble then they're pushing it. Then Park notice injury in Park's brother leg. So he revisited hospital their doctor suggested they have to amputate his leg. Up and experiencing back to back sad news. Parks decide to spend some time with his wife. Meanwhile detective SEO spying on Hyungyu. Park Hyungyu sit on a coffee shop and thinking for hours in this time SEO fell asleep. When he wake up Hyungyu leave coffee shop in a bus SEO car again get trouble SEO alert all policeman. It start raining then park wife leaves from work and same time school girl going to home they're both choose in a bonded road they're both passes each other killer watching both of them. He chooses the school girl to kill because she is easy target. He catches her and tied her and strangle her. Next day SEO see her dead body he fells externally sad and went Hyungyu house for vengeance. He take him to railway track and ask him to confess but he denials it then Park came with test report from USA the curious opened it but to his shock it says the DNA of killer and Hyungyu don't match. CO think it's a mistake and try to kill but Park stop him and allow Hyungyu to go. The crime remains unsolved. Years pass it's 2003 now Park is a businessman and father of two children. He is going in his way and stopped at first victim spot and seeing. A girl came and asked him what he is searching then Park say nothing. Then she say few days back a man came and see in a same way then she asked him what are you looking at. He told he did something earlier there. Then Park asked the girl how he looked then she replied he looked normally. Then finally movie ends with Park C towards audience. Thanks for watching and please subscribe for my channel.